uh, controlling curves. So now we've talked a little bit about how to string these along. Uh, you can also use z-spheres in very interesting ways. My preferred ways, actually. So let's say we have a z-sphere. Go in edit mode. And then we, uh, I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. And then I'm going to hold down uh, shift. So when you when you hold down, when you're in draw mode, which is Q, and you hold down shift, it'll snap to the previously sized uh, z-sphere. So you can do that. You can also hit Q and just go through here and just tap. And then you can go through here and you can move. And the cool thing about z-spheres is you can go through here and you can rotate down a chain or you can rotate individual uh, things. So it's very easy to go through here and just type in, tap in where you want the resolution and where you want these things to lay. Like so. So I'll give you one way you can use this and that would be what we've already talked about which is um, under our adaptive skin, density of one, Dynamesh off, preview. Uh, a is the preview button, by the way. If you like it, hit make adaptive skin. Uh, you got your skin Z sphere out here. And now you can hold down control shift and go through here and say alt. And then let me see, hold on. We'll do a quick delete hidden. And then we'll grab this one. And we'll say do a delete hidden. We can hit control W. And then if we want to put a stroke something along here, we can say, uh, oh, first, we can do again like we did. We can do a polish my features. We're going to smooth this out. Um, and then we can say, let's do a poly group here and then here. Isolate this. Delete hidden. We can use the brush we made. Now, this brush is, oh, well, let's do this first. Stroke, frame mesh, throw it on there. So, and we can make our brush size bigger or smaller, depending on what. And if it's a curve, uh, if you want to embed it further, you can go into depth and you can drag your depth down and that'll embed it further into the object. Uh, but because it's a curve, you can also go to like brush insert uh, army curve, hit M. We can throw like a timing chain on there and you can just replace it with a timing chain. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. And while you're messing with this curve, while it, when, it turn, when it's red, that's your brush size, that controls how big it is. Um, when it's blue, that uh, controls the fall off or manipulating this curve. And so on this one here, uh, with our stroke settings, let's drag this over here. You can go in here and you can say, uh, you can do elastic or liquid. And a liquid, you can just keep dragging off. Uh, I mean, this is just a feature. You can just drag off um, on any of these things. Uh, but you can also go backwards and you can, so you can go through here and you can kind of delete as you drag backwards, or you can continue to add as you drag forwards. And uh, so there you go. Drag backwards, drag forwards, and it'll delete as you go. You can also hover over these and as you're dragging you can hold down control and you can twist here. So it's up to you.